Okay, we're now going to try and write the equations for a plane. And the first thing I'm going to do is just talk a little bit about equations. So, in the past, you've written an equation of a line, and you're quite happy to have the equation of a line as being something like y equals mx plus c. Well, at least I hope you're happy with that. <coughs> and basically, this is the equation for a line. And what it's saying is that any values of x and y for which this thing is true lies on that line. Okay, so x and y's are, are variables, m and c will be fixed values, but any combination of x and y that lie, that, that work, that this equation works for, will be on that line. Okay, and it's similar for a plane. So if we start thinking about a plane, so we're going to have a plane this time with a point in the normal, so we're having a plane, any point on the plane, and we know what the normal to the plane is. Okay, so <coughs> this will give us, by definition, a plane. So it's got to be at right angle to the normal, which gives us a whole bunch of layers, and one of those will be picked out by the point P. And all we're trying to do is we're trying to find an equation for any point X, which will be true if X is lying in that plane. Okay, so just like the equation of the line, as long as X and Y made this true, then it was on the line, this situation, we're going to have an equation which is going to have x in it, and as long as our equation is true, then x will be in the plane. And the way it works is that if we have an origin, then this will be the position vector p for the point p. This will be the position vector x for the point x. <coughs> and then between those two, there will be the vector which is x minus p. And as long as x minus p, this vector here, is in the plane, then it will be at right angles to the normal. So if the vector x minus p dotted with the normal equals 0, then we'll know that the vector x minus p is at right angles to the normal, which means it must lie in that plane, and it goes through the point p, because it's the vector x minus p, so it's going through the point p. So this vector goes through the point p, and it's at right angles to the normal, so it must lie in the plane. So any values of x, any position vectors, from the origin to the point x, any position vectors x for which this is true, means that the point x lies in the plane. So this becomes the equation of a plane.